All right, how's it going, everybody? Thank you for joining in. What we're doing today is we are going to start introducing Miss Remington here on some scent training. So what I have in this handy dandy container is a little cotton swab. And I got these containers off of Amazon, but on the cotton swab, I have some birch oil. And we're doing birch oil because for AKC scent trials, birch oil is one of the approved scents that you can teach your dog. So we're starting off with just one here with Remington. And what we're going to do is every single time she interacts with this, you're gonna see me give her a treat. And that's because I want her to associate this smell with getting good things. So I want her to learn that if she finds this smell, if she interacts with this smell, she's gonna get something good out of it. So let's see how she does. And you'll find I'm not going to say much. Yes, good girl. But when she sniffs it, even for just a millisecond at this point, I'm going to mark it with my yes, and then I'm gonna to toss a treat out there and reward her. Yes! Yes. 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 So she didn't find that one, so she'll get an extra surprise. Yes. So once we get her associated, this is what we call loading the scent. Yes, good girl. Um, I'm gonna start making it a little bit harder. So right now it's in my hand. It's kind of easy for her to decipher, yes, what it is I want her to do, because she's really smart. Good girl. So the next part, we're gonna make it a little bit more challenging for her, and we'll see how she does. Okay, so now we're gonna make it harder for her. So we have this container, which is empty, and this container, which has the scent. Yes! So even though it was kind of cheating there, because I pointed to it, she got it. Now we're just gonna wait. I'm gonna let her do all of the thinking, let her use her brain, try to figure out what she has to do to get the reward. And if she really gets stumped, then we'll try to help her out. But otherwise, we want our dogs to use their brains. And I want her to, instead of just hint towards the scent, I want her to get her nose close to it. So I'm gonna wait for her to do that before I mark. You can see the wheels turning in her brain. She's trying to figure out what she's got to do. And why we have a second container like you just saw, I don't want her to just go for the look of the container. I want her to go for the scent. So I'm not going to reward her for going for that one. Yes! This is where she'll be like, hey, I touched it. Where's my treat? Yes! And when she goes for the one that has the scent, that's when I'm going to mark it. And it's very, very important that you be patient. This is not a fast goal. I mean, really, you gotta go your dog's speed because we need your dog to understand, yes, the core of what we're asking them to do. Yes. All right, we're gonna keep doing this and then we're gonna come back and make it a little bit harder. All right, so when you're teaching your dog to mark with the scent, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Okay, Remy, sit. You can have them either sit, you can have them lay down, you can have them paw, you can have them do all kinds of things. It really depends on your personal preference and what your dog is willing to do. Like if your dog has any elbow injuries or hip injuries or something that makes it difficult for them to either sit 
or lay down. You could teach them to bark. You can, you know, you can teach all kinds of things to be your marker on, hey, my dog has identified the scent. So for Remy, I'm going to teach her to lay down. And Remy has a couple of things for down. She does the verbal, and then we also have a hand signal um, because dogs are, are really visual. They'll, they'll pick up a hand signal way faster than they're gonna pick up the word. So I'm gonna hand signal first every time she interacts with this. Um, and then once she does the motion, I'm gonna mark it, give her the treat, and we're gonna do that a couple of times before we start to even approach adding the word to it. All right, so let's see how she does. And I'm not gonna mark or give her the treat or anything until she gets in that down position. So to reset, I'm gonna toss a treat, holding the scent, down. Yes! Toss a treat, let her reset. Down. Yes, good girl. Down. Yes. Good girl. And we're going to do this over and over and over. Down. Yes. Good girl. Down. Yes. See, she's laying down, but she did it to my hand that has the treats in it. I want her to do it when she does this. So I'm gonna move my leg, ask her to get up. Down. Yes, good. Okay, do that more. We're gonna practice this a couple more times and then we'll come back to make it a little bit harder. Okay, I wanna show you something she's doing. So we've had a couple of times where she'll smell that and then she'll lay down after a little bit of thinking, which is perfect. But now what she's doing is she's just coming up and just laying down. So I don't want her to just come up and lay down. I want her to smell the scent, lay down after smelling the scent. Um, so if she does this, I'm still gonna ignore her. Like she's not gonna get a treat for doing this. I'm gonna wait until she actually smells the scent and then lays down. So I'm gonna get her up, push her back. See, she just wants to lay down now. That's what she thinks it is. So that is not the case. So I'm gonna move my legs. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna keep waiting. And if she goes to lay down before she sniffs the scent, then I'm gonna move my legs again and I'm gonna get her up. And while I'm waiting here, I know you can't see my eyes, but I am not looking at her. So if you see her staring intently at me, yes, so I'm gonna give her that because I saw her head go towards the scent and then she laid down. When we're teaching them at first, all of the little victories are huge victories. So if she got her head down and then she laid down, even in the, the smallest way, you know, that's what I'm gonna reward. So she sniffed it, down. Yes, good girl. She's not gonna get a treat for that one. But that's what I wanted to show you. So when we're teaching our dogs these things, sometimes they're gonna think that they can find a loophole. Very important that we pay attention. We don't want her to just come and lay down and assume she gets the treat. I wanna see her interact with that first, then lay down, then she's gonna get a treat. Thank you so much, Remy. This is the very first steps that you wanna do when you're introducing your dog to uh, scent training. It's a very wonderful activity to do. It uses their brain, it tires them out, um, and it's a good thing for you guys to do together because they get something good out of it with treats or a toy and they get to utilize their brain and, and work their, their mental abilities because Remy is a very smart dog and you can see that treadmill in the back over there. She's not a huge fan of that. So we have to adapt and try to figure out other ways to kind of tire her out. She'll run around in the backyard, she'll, she'll go on walks and jogs and all that kind of stuff, but to get her brain tired out, um, we want to start introducing her to scent work. So if you got any questions, um, 
please feel free to reach out. Um, and as always, if you like what you see and you'd like to learn more about how to work with your dog and things to do with your dog, um, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Till next time, guys, have a good one.